All right, so using Pro Tools without an audio interface. So we're going to use Voice Meter Potato, and you can head over here and get it for free. Now, after 30 days, you will get like a nag screen to uh, donate some, which is a good idea because it's very, uh, very powerful software. But you can download it for free and use it for free forever. Just download either the zip or the exe. Either one will work just fine. So go ahead, download it, install it, and then open it up. Now, after you open it up, the first thing we need to do in order to be able to hear the output of Pro Tools is set up some output source. Now, it is recommended that you set your hardware output on A1 to an ASIO interface, and I do highly recommend that. But since we are talking about uh, using Pro Tools without our ASIO interface, come up here to A1, click your drop down, and choose whatever speaker output that you want. So for me, it would be either the WDM speakers driver, my real tech, or the MME speakers. You're going to have to sort of switch between these two and see which ones uh, work better for you. For me, the MMEs work better. And that, of course, is my main output uh, for my computer right there. Okay. So once you have your output set up, we can go ahead and launch Pro Tools. And here we are in Pro Tools. And the first thing we need to do is come up here to set up playback engine and change our playback engine here to voice meter virtual ASIO. You could use the aux, you could use the three, but we're gonna choose the virtual ASIO. All right, so once you choose that and click okay, your session is gonna shut down and restart. After your session restarts, let me just play back here. We have some MIDI right there. You can see we're getting output there. And if we look at voice meter, you can see right here is where Pro Tools is coming in to voice meter. Now the problem is we can't hear anything. Now, why can't we hear anything? Well, the reason is because of these buttons here. So A1 corresponds to A1 up here. A2 corresponds to A2 right here, and A3 and A4, so on and so forth. So you can actually have multiple sets of speakers or multiple audio interfaces set up here. So if I wanted my ASIO interface to be on A1, I could have that here and just activate A1 to hear the audio through my ASIO interface. Then I could have my computer set up, my computer speakers set up for A2, and then just activate A2 to hear the sound from Pro Tools uh, through my computer speakers in this, uh, in this case. But again, since we're talking about not using any interface at all, we're just going to be uh, concerned with A1. So because we have A1 set as our computer speakers, we'll activate A1 here. And now when we play back, move this out of the way, we're getting sound. Okay. All right. So now what about audio inputs? Well, because we're not using an audio interface, we're going to be limited to whatever inputs we have on our computer or something like a USB microphone. Now I happen to have a USB microphone connected. So in order to use that in Pro Tools, the first thing you're probably going to have to do is come up here to set up because we changed our audio interface, right? and choose IO, and then go ahead and default your output, default your input, okay? Just so we have the proper uh, IO. Now, once you do that, what we're gonna do is head over here to uh, an audio track, or just go ahead and control shift in and go ahead and create one, okay? And we're gonna choose input one right there. So then we have to set the input of our USB microphone here in voice meter. So under hardware input one, Click right here where it says select input device and select the driver for your USB microphone. So I'll select this one right there. Now you're not going to hear anything yet. We do see the input right here, but we don't hear anything. Now, in order to hear this through our speakers, I could activate a one, but be careful, be careful with, with that, that because, because as you might or might not be able to hear uh, that audio is going out of my computer speakers and feeding back into the microphone. So I'm not gonna activate the output from my input right here, okay? But what I will do is activate B1. So watch what happens whenever I do that. B1, and now you can see it over here, okay? Turn it off, it goes down, all right? So I'll go ahead and input, uh, enable this track, and then enable B1, boom. And then you can see right here that input uh, or output from Pro Tools into voice meter. Of course, we're feedbacking, so I can turn that off here, or I can just mute the output here 
in Pro Tools. Now, ideally, you're going to have headphones plugged in anytime you're using a live microphone. Otherwise, you're going to get feedback. All right. So I'm going to mute that. And since we have everything set up now, we have, again, the input of our microphone right here on our hardware input one. We have activated B1 here. Okay. And then we have our track record enabled. So now we are ready to record from our USB microphone with no audio interface. So let's go ahead and do that. Just click record here. USB microphone with no audio interface. Okay. Go ahead and unmute that. I'm gonna boost the uh, clip gain some just so we can hear it. Come back over here into voice meter. We don't need the input active here anymore. Then we can just uh, play back here. USB microphone with no audio interface. All right. So that is how you can use Pro Tools with no audio interface and even record a USB microphone. Now, lastly, uh, we didn't change the output for our computer, right? So that's separate from voice meter. Now, if you want to have your computer audio, so YouTube or Windows Media Player or whatever, going through voice meter potato as well, we can do that right down here. Just click on your sound icon right there. And we can choose, say, the voice meter aux input, select that, and then you can see right here is that input. Now, we don't hear anything, and why don't we hear anything? Well, because there's no output active, right? So engage an output for the input of our computer, and then if I make noise here, you're going to hear that. All right, now you don't have to do that step if you don't want to, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, switch it back, but uh, you can do that if you want. And then you can control everything from within uh, within voice meter. And voice meter is even more powerful whenever you have an ASIO audio interface, because then you can actually use the inputs of your ASIO audio interface in conjunction with inputs from your computer, and of course outputs from your computer or other audio interfaces. But if you want to use Pro Tools without an ASIO interface and also record a USB microphone, this is a good and easy and, by the way, free way to do that.